what's going on today guys welcome back to the channel uh, we're going to be doing another breakdown today of the 2016 f-150 and we're going to be putting some wheel well liners on um, the wheel well liners can are kind of a universal thing so you don't have to search for your specific year uh, it's kind of self-explanatory when you're putting them on there's four nuts four screws and the middleman which is the wheel well liner uh, today we're going to be all, all you're going to need is either a screwdriver or a little impact gun um, and we're going to show you how to put them on now if you have a basically any other color truck other than the black one uh, the black one kind of hides it a little bit better because the inside here uh, is already black but if you have like a red or a white or any other color, um, you don't have the darkness here, which makes the truck look really clean. Um, this here stands out quite a bit, considering you have all of the inside and then the tire is black. And this is kind of an eyesore for me um, for any of the other trucks. Now it's not too bad with this one, but you'll see the difference when we put um, the wheel well liner in and I'll go to the other side and compare the two sides um, but uh, with that uh, The pack is going to come uh, simple stuff. You're going to get uh, four of these And then you're just going to get four just Phillip head screws um, This one here it's got It's a flat surface on one side and it's kind of a rough surface on the other side and it's got an opening here uh, the rough surface is going to go on the back of it so you there's going to be some holes see if i can get you down a little lower there you go as i said the rough surface is going to be on the back side and it's just going to clip in there just like that easy really can't get any easier um, and you'll do the top two and they kind of fit snug in there now this next section here um, it's gonna be a little difficult <clears throat> like I said the uh, the rough piece is still gonna go on the back side but you're gonna reach around here and you're gonna put it in there just like that just slightly uh, so one side is on the front and one side is in the back and then we're going to repeat with this side. I'm going to get this one in. So after you're done, just putting that piece just like that in there, just kind of a, a kind of a loose fit for those. <clears throat> um, we're going to take the wheel well liner. Now the screws are going to be like this, so they're kind of uh, like a self-tapper type of deal. But now we're going to take the whole thing itself. going to put it in slide it in like this make sure you can kind of bend it in so you don't scratch nothing and then it's going to go in just like that and from this point on it's kind of just making it fit in there you're gonna this piece here is going to tuck behind this one not to scratch anything all right looks like it's in and then from this point um, you're gonna search for the holes here uh, in the middle you're gonna search for the four holes um, I know when I originally put these on um, a few years ago, because I just had an accident, so I took everything off. Um, I know that the side ones here fell off in the back, so I originally just put those back on um, after this piece here was installed. 
but you're going to try to find the hole there, which there's one here. So once you, I, I would recommend getting one of these in uh, a little early. Just so you have a reference point at least. Don't screw it all the way in. And then basically some of the other ones, as you can see, there's another one there that uh, just pops up in the back. Don't get them too tight, because you do want to be able to move it around just a little bit. So just basically just thread them on good enough. And then <clears throat> this one here did pretty good. As you can see, it hasn't fallen off yet. But that's basically it. Um, it's a simple job. It's gonna take you, you know, probably 20 minutes to do the first one and another 20 minutes to do probably another 10 minutes to do the second one since you got the first one down uh, so that's basically it for those you'll put the two the last two screws in uh, if you enjoyed the video go ahead and hit that like uh, and subscribe if you have any other questions um, I'm gonna leave a link uh, in the issue in the uh, the bio down there uh, from where I got these and the price points uh, I know the huskies are cheaper than the uh weather tech i think the weather tech are probably 20 or 30 dollars more i would say there's maybe one or two other brands out there but i know for at least the four guys uh the husky ones fit do fit pretty good and they look good um so like i said we're gonna do a quick walk around as you can see other than it being dirty um it hides everything in the back compared to this one where you can see the frame and stuff like that. So with that said, um, like I said, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Comment if you want, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, until next time, guys.